Hi there, this is Jared. Um, I just wanted to do a quick uh, video post here. Uh, I will link to the video that I listened to today on um, uh, by William Michael of the Classical Liberal Arts Academy, with whom I do some consulting, and uh, you know my children are in the academy, and I'm trying to. I'm trying to build local interest in classical Catholic education. Um, and even if you're not Catholic, you might have interest in this uh, classical education. But uh, the blog or the video today that he posted or whenever he posted, I listened to it today or watched it today, was about um, uh, the cardinal virtues or, or the virtues that are um, not necessarily Christian virtues, they are virtues that every man can develop even before we start talking about Christianity. And one of them was the virtue of temperance, how to eat uh, and drink food and drink temperately, how to order your life not around meals and food, but to order your life especially around prayer, or if you're someone who meditates, meditation, but ordering your life around, not around food. And the key to this that we have from the ancient world, St. Benedict taught that you should really only have one meal a day. Uh, now, this is a hard concept for most people because in America, we just don't do that type of thing. One meal a day, what are you talking about? What do I eat the rest of the day? But um, I'm just going to play off his video, William Michael's video, and just post my own video. It's it's right now 4.45 p.m. Uh, I got up at 6 a.m. today, um, had coffee, drove to work. Uh, I'm a flooring installer. I own a flooring business. Uh, we drove to the job. We installed um, a bathroom floor. Uh, so we had to carry, carry vinyl and underlayment and all our tools, 100-pound weights, up to the bathroom, install this floor, get all the tools and equipment, air guns, compressors, all this stuff up into the uh, uh, bathroom. We got the floor done. Then when we were done, we carried it down all downstairs, finished the job. It was probably around 1230 when we finished, maybe one o'clock when we finished. We drove back to the shop, uh, emptied out our vans and, um, or our van, I should say, and, um, and then I went up to the office to do some office work. And then I finished my office work and now I drove home. Now it's 4.45 p.m., okay? And I have not had anything else today besides the coffee I had in the morning and water that I drank throughout the day. And this, uh, and I feel great physically. I feel fine. I, I don't, I, you know, I have a little bit of hunger right now. That's my body, I think, saying, okay, it's time for our meal. And Thankfully, thank God, I have a wonderful wife who, who is uh, probably preparing our family's meal right now. But the point of that of this of saying this is that I have worked all day long, relatively you know mild physical labor, um, sat in an office for a couple hours to do office work at the end of the day, drove home, and all I've had really is coffee and water, and. And I'm going to have my one meal of the day. Uh, now, I'm not always this great. I, I, I struggle with, you know, snacks and this sort of thing throughout the day, trying to get, you know, add a meal here and there. Uh, but I'm going to link to the video so that you can listen to the whole video about living temperately uh, and trying to get down to eating one meal per day and exercising. A lot of great information about exercising in this video that he posted and I'll link to it in my video. Um, but I'm just encouraging anyone who listens to me or follows me or watches this video to listen to that video and to start to maybe change your life. Maybe you're sick all the time. Maybe you feel unhealthy. Maybe your body feels like it's uh, not working right. Maybe you, your muscles or your back or any of these issues that people have and I am just here to testify to the truth of what he was saying in his video that when we eat too much and exercise, sometimes not at all, if our daily life has no real exercise or physical movement to it, we're going to get sick and unhealthy. Um, 
and we need to fight against that. We need to start being temperate men. Uh, and so I'm going to post this as an encouragement because it, um, I needed encouragement when I needed to do it. And now I, I feel like I want to encourage others to do it as well. This is not about how great I am or anybody else's. I'm trying to share this because I think it may be helpful for others. So I'm sharing that with you. I'll link to the video and then we can go from there. Again, my name is Jared and I'm linking to William Michael's video from the Classical Liberal Arts Academy uh, on temperance. Thanks so much.